Uh, hello everybody. Uh, looks like a crappy morning in Alaska. <laughs> but, uh, well, that's where we are. Up in uh, Wasilla, Alaska, and we're heading for Valdez with a load of hay on this Tomisco uh, chip van. And uh, got a got a truck here. I haven't put in a video before. I've had this truck for months now, but uh, it's uh, I forget the guy's name. Uh, he's the Ukrainian fella, and uh, he put it out a while ago. But man, it had a really short chassis, and uh, he just in the interior. Eh, there was a few things, you know. It was a little early coming out, but it's looking pretty good now. He's got uh, some chassis options. Really good interior. And uh, so I threw an old school paint job on it. And what else? Um, yeah, it's it's looking pretty good. It's definitely worth a video now. It uh, was a little uh, iffy on it before, but uh, I'm, I'm starting to like it. So we'll, uh, we'll hop inside, spark her up. Oh, geez, look at this weather. I think I'm too far back in the seat. I'm getting some artifacts from the seat here. Uh, hold on, we'll just fix that. Okay, well, I think the seat's better now. Everything's looking pretty good. Uh, we're going to need some wipers here. Oh, no squeaky wipers. Um, hmm. And uh, let's see. GPS is working, that's good. I see right away. <laughs> oh, man, you can always tell when I'm in a hurry. As, uh see right away that I have a Chevrolet emblem on the steering wheel and I've got a Bison emblem on the other side of the dash there. This is a cool trailer. It's got that uh, front axle steers. That's kind of neat. I don't think we have enough weight in it. We really need that axle down. I wonder if we can put it up. Let's see if it goes up. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, there's no need to have it down. We've only got uh, 20,000 pounds on here. Don't tell me it went back down. No, it's still up. <laughs> okay, you're not coming that way. It's light out soon. Go straight. It's nasty weather. It's uh, seven o'clock in the morning, so I guess the problem is like the game does. Uh, I did. I never really realized this till <laughs> not that long ago that uh, the game will, um, the days are shorter in the northern hemisphere because the dead of winter here. Keep right after 50 yards, exit right ahead. Exit right ahead. Wow! Holy! Wow! We just went sailing out into there. Can't see anything in the mirrors. That was something else. I gotta take a look at that. Holy cow! Sorry guys, it just dropped in. <laughs> oh wow! Notice he's got the uh, headlights switched around a bit. Should be high beam as low beam. Vice versa. Vice versa, or however you say that. that for the thumbnail. I don't think folks like watching uh, videos where they can't see the scenery. I don't really pay attention. 
attention to the uh, how windy the road is here. Be some surprises up here. This map. Something else that's no storm. Well, that's a nice picture. Photo. So is this. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, enough touristy stuff. My, um, that uh, GPS on the dash is showing 64, which in a 40, that's in kilometers still. This is in miles an hour. That's on uh, Imperial now or whatever. Weird. Maybe something in the game settings? Boy, this is just getting better and better, this uh, sunrise here. I said enough of the touristy stuff, but look at that. But uh, the sun coming through those trees is epic. Goodwill points with you uh, jumping around. I should have been out getting some photos of that bridge too. And I see a couple new routes on here. They got it updated. I uh, haven't. Uh, the jobs were a little far. There was Tatoke was uh, a new location. There's also looks like a new road from uh, up by Fairbanks down to uh, Glen Allen or you know, all down to Val Valdez. So this isn't the only uh, road across. Okay, so now it's 60 miles an hour here. Come on guys, let's go. Oh, somebody coming. Oh, he was going around the corner. Was... Come on, let's go. We got a rodeo to go to here. Yeah, 40 to 60 
60s and cutting it. back down to a 40, they're going to be embarrassed. No, it's still 60. Yeah, these guys are something funny. I don't know if, is that the map or what causes that? It will cause traffic to go too slow, like drastically slow. in a different video. Well, let's see if it's uh, working on this tachometer. The idea is that a split on an 18 speed is 150 RPM and a full gear is 300. So it's at uh, right between t uh, 12 and 15. So 13 and a half. So let's see if we split down. Will we go... Oops, I slow down a bit to try it. If we split down, it should jump up to 1500 RPM. Oh, it goes much more. Uh, I wonder if it's... That's weird. wonder how much a full shift is. I can't take one now because they're going too quick. They're <laughs> going pretty fast too. Must be downhill because it's hardly touching the throttle if at all. bunch of exhaust options and stuff. I just went for these short stacks. Pretty scenic when we get. Uh, we gotta go across the uh, around or whatever through a mountain pass up ahead here to get down to uh, Valdez. That's a pretty nice uh, little trip. Oh, something else. If I hope I remember to put them in, but uh, you've got a link in my videos to KD simulation. After uh, 100 yards, turn right. Yeah, so this is Glen Allen. Yeah, now we hang right down here to Valdez. It gets pretty good after a bit. Uh oh, stalled it. That's what you like to see up here a bunch of four wheel drive right. suburbans. <laughs> good old vehicles. That uh, oops, that Jazzy Cat's uh, oops classic car pack in here. I think that's what's causing all the traffic problems. 
I've tried to get that out of all my profiles because uh, until they do something about it, as much as I like looking at the classic cars, uh, they're just a pain in the neck in traffic. Central Europe and once for uh, Southern Europe, I think. And uh, what happens is uh, what it'll do is make it so it doesn't get completely dark. It's like being up by the North Pole in the, uh, so, uh, in the summer, where the sun never really goes down. But no, is that, yeah, that's the summer sun never really goes down and uh, it's kind of a neat deal I guess because if you're flying or you know doing a lot of trips around up there in uh, Europe in northern Europe you got a lot of ferries there's ferries everywhere and so what that does is you know you start early in the morning whenever you're going to do your trip and uh, three hours later you're pulling up to a ferry and the ferry trip takes eight, nine hours. Well, you get off the ferry, it's pitch black, and you've just been driving for three hours of game time, like 15 minutes or something, and you're in the black, so it's kind of a neat deal. But I was driving along, and I had the frosty winter on, and I was using that mod, and it got pretty darn dark out. It was about two or three in the morning. So I um, just stopped and took frosty winter out. And sure enough, the sky lightened up. So there seems to be a conflict between frosty winter and that polar night thing. But before I, you know, put a stamp on it and say that's guaranteed, I would like to uh, just go and test that. if it's true or not. And the other day I mentioned on my, uh, was, it was a video, yeah, that um, I was having problems with uh, the sound volume. My PC kept turning down. Oh, look at that bright green snow. Wow. All right. So it came on some of that light landscaping seat stuff they spray down. Oh. The dude helping the guy in the Lincoln out. Um, oh, yeah, it gets really good up here. It's nice scenery. The lake and stuff. But anyway, uh, several viewers responded. And uh, the first up to bat was KD simulation once again and he was all over it and sent me the commands what to do and sure enough there was some device on my PC controlling the sound and, uh, and then Slim uh, Slim was uh, well Slim you were a little slow to the draw <laughs> man look at 
that uh, lake, but look at that green. That is freaky. That just ain't right. That lake sure looks good. I'd like to get a better look at it, but I don't really want to crash a truck. Oh, look at that. We got a nice little rock cut coming up here. I got a Chevrolet emblem on the hood too. <laughs> the only place I got GMC is on the sides of the hood and on the grill. And uh, I put the GMC style grill on it with the vertical bars. Darn it all. In the trailer, this Tomisco trailer is. Uh, um, if you're a patron of Half Fast Gaming, you can, um, it's a freebie. Well, it comes with your Patreon account. So there's several trailers. I haven't tried, uh, I think I've tried three or four of them. Some fatal flaw that just kind of blew it for me. I'll have to try it again and just remind myself what it was. Maybe look on the their Discord and After see if it's been 100 fixed. Hundred yards, turn left. Or actually, not their Discord. It would be on their uh, Patreon site. Did I just miss my turn? Oh no, it's up there. Okay. Out in the winter drive with his AC Cobra. Uh oh. Turn around that guy. Turn right. Turn left. Jag XK one After 100 yards, turn left. a long sunrise. I guess maybe that's kind of the way it is up there. It's 1300 now. So that's one o'clock in the afternoon. So I guess what we're seeing is that the sun doesn't get very high in the sky up there in the winter. So that's cool. That's kind of accurate. That's why we had that long period of sunrise. So I guess if we went up and did a trip to Prudhoe Bay, we'd spend most of it in darkness. That's one long trip, and it's a lot further north than this. second last row why don't we drive right around and turn around and drive up the row oh you know what they usually have something in the way anyway they'll have it backed up against something to just to make sure it's hard parking now one of these things has a barricade in the way is it this one 
gotta look carefully here. Yeah, it looks like there's... I don't know, I guess there's nothing in the way. Oh, it's the other one on the left. It's got a thing down. So I think what we're going to have to do is just fight the bullet and back all the way down that alleyway, but we'll have a look anyway, just for giggles. It's going to be down this one, I think. Yeah, see, they, yeah, they kind of put it in an awkward spot, so, yeah, it's not that bad. We'll just back into there. He says now. <laughs> on the 16-speed transmissions and ETS, you can't, you don't get high-speed reverse, like high-range reverse. It's time to take it out of that wacky reverse. truck. I kind of like it now that he's made all these updates. I'm really glad he did because, uh, you know, my initial impression wasn't that great. But I'm liking it now. Reasonable pay. Wow. He's a lot of fuel. That's, <laughs> that's kind of, excuse me, that's like, oh, it's liters. It's in liters. Something's messed up with my settings. Okay, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go uh, look at that. It's probably somehow got changed to uh, all this flipping back and forth between this and ETS. I think is making things go haywire. Anyway, um, appreciate you guys following along. And once again, big shout out to KD Simulation for the uh, like and subscribe animated button. And uh, also coming up with the fix for my. Uh, he out outdrew everybody else on the fix for the uh, audio. So uh, thanks very much uh, and, uh, for that. Uh, look for his videos. There's a link at the bottom of my description. And you'll see some nice trucks driven very well. So uh, good on them. And good on you folks for sticking around. <laughs> thanks for that. Yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care. And bye for now.